All right, so in this lecture, we're gonna go over how to add different types of variations to an image using layers. So we've already gone over layers, but we're gonna go into depth a little bit about how you can use layers to really help fuel your creative process. So sometimes we might have an idea roughly of what we wanna do, but maybe there's some of the details that we haven't quite worked out yet, and we wanna experiment and try some different things. Well, when you're working digitally, you can use layers to really help you come up with a lot of ideas very quickly while still keeping your original ones intact so that you can kind of go back and forth and switch between. So what we have here is this little creature. We have the shadows on one layer, so you won't have to worry about that. We also have the skin patterns on another layer. So by creating a new layer, and the liner on a separate layer as well, by creating a new layer, we're gonna go ahead and experiment and try and come up with some different skin patterns and I also, yeah, we'll we'll come to that in a minute. So yeah, let's start with that. So we're gonna make a new layer here. I'm gonna turn off skin patterns layer and I'm going to go ahead and duplicate my base layer. Okay. And we're gonna start with that base copy down there and we're gonna change it for our starting color to something else. So I'm just gonna use my hue and saturation slider. And let's start with something. About like that. Okay. Then we're going to come up here to this new layer. Let's rename it Skin Patterns 2. And I'm just going to hold Command and select my base copy. That's going to make it so that it creates a selection and then I won't have to worry about going outside the lines. I have a nice texture brush, Ophgenomner Pencil 141. It's from the Evident Art Pack. And we're going to come in here and start painting our patterns in. So I'm going to start with... A nice dark greenish color. And let's bring our opacity up. There we go. Bring this down a little darker. And we're just going to start painting this in. I'm gonna go a little warmer with this. All right, let's go with um, a little bit lighter, more yellowish color here. We're gonna just get in a little bit of this marking here on the back. Okay, now that we're here, I'm gonna also get my eraser tool. I think what we're gonna do is probably come back and uh, erase, let's erase some of this, but I also think we're gonna come back probably and change the, uh, that base layer, that pink to something else. Well, maybe not. Let's just try, let's take this skin pattern, come up here to our adjustments. Let's slide this around a little bit. Just 
bring the saturation down a bunch. There we go. Excellent. Let's, uh, let's do the horn. Whoops, get our brush out. Get the eye here. Looks good. And then, I don't think, well, yeah, let's do them. Let's do the little spikes there. Actually, maybe not. I kind of like them just sort of blending in. I mean, it's up to you. You can paint it however you want. Your job is to come up with three variations for this. Three different patterns. Let's do a little bit down here. On the toes. All right, excellent. And then we can just go ahead and deselect that. And there is one variation. So you're gonna do three of these. Um, some other things I want you to do. I also have up here another layer where I have this saddle layer. And with layers, you can just create whatever you want on top of something. So what I would usually do, we'll turn this off really quick. I would just paint straight, straight on top of it. Um, and start coming up with some sort of an idea for what I want to do. And then I just paint straight on top. Probably want to make sure you have a nice opaque brush. This one has a little bit of give to it, but... Um, So I just paint on and then start working my way through the whole image. And I can start coming back and painting, you know, different highlights or little details, stuff like that. Um, you can do the whole thing. You know, maybe you want to do armor across the whole entire creature. It's up to you. But, uh, yeah, so do three different colors. And then see if you can come up with three different sort of hard changes. Things that are going to go right over the top here. There you go. You come up with whatever you want. So, anyways, that uh, will be it for this lecture. Be sure to post these in the Q&A and the Facebook group. I would love to see what you guys come up with and what different ideas you're able to create just by mixing the, you know, the different color patterns around and stuff like that. So, anyways, that's it for this lecture. I'll see you guys in the next one.